What's up you guys, it's Deepoe and today I'm going to show you how to add text to any texture wall in Photoshop. So this tutorial was requested by one of our viewers. So there you go my friend, hope you find it helpful. Now if you guys also have any tutorial requests then you can drop them in the comments below. Also if you want to learn how to place text according to the perspective of the image then I've already created one video on that. So the link for that video will be in the card above or in the description below. Now if you guys want to keep learning how to create such cool things in Photoshop for free then make sure you smash that subscribe button if you haven't already so without wasting any more time of yours let's get started So this is the wall image where we will add our text. Now if you want to follow along the tutorial then the download link for this wall image will be in the description below. Now let me just rotate this image by 90 degrees so that we have more space in order to add our text. After that let me just zoom in. After that we need to type in our text, so for that select horizontal type tool and then select any font of your choice. Download link for the font I'm choosing is in the description below. Also if you don't know how to install font in Photoshop, the link for that is in the description as well. After that select any appropriate size for your text, I'm setting it as 1296 point and then set any foreground color of your choice which will be the color of our text. I'm setting it as any yellowish color for now and then click on OK. After that you can click on the document and then type in your text. After that click on the stick icon in order to place it. Now I want this text to fill up the entire wall so for that we have to scale it up. So for that press Ctrl or command on Mac plus T in order to bring up the transform tool. And then you can drag it from one corner as follows and scale it up. Now once it looks proper after that click on the stick icon in order to place it. Now let's place this text at the center of the document so for that press Ctrl or command on Mac and then click on this background layer which will give you the selection of the background layer as well as keep the selection of the text layer active. After that select move tool and then click on align vertical center. After that click on align horizontal centers. After that again make the text layer active by clicking on it. Now the next thing we need to do is make sure that this text blends in properly with the wall such that it looks like as if it was painted. So for that let's bring up the blending options pop-up. So for that double click on the text layer icon or else you can click on this add layer style option and then select the option as blending options. Now over there make sure that the blending options default is selected. Now inside the blending options default you can find one blend if section. Now make sure its value is selected to grey. After that let's try to understand what this blend if will do. So in a nutshell blend if will try to mask out the current layer based on the luminosity value of its own layer or based on the luminosity value of its underlying layers. So now this layer section over here will try to mask out the current layer based on the luminosity value of its own layer. So if we move the left slider more towards right and have a value of around 80 then what it will say is that if the portion of the image contains the luminosity value between 0 to 80 then that portion needs to be transparent. Similarly if we move the right slider more towards left then what it will say is that if the luminosity value is between 230 to 255 then that portion needs to be transparent. So like this we can mask out the current layer based on the luminosity value of its own layer but for this text as you can see there is no difference it is because that the entire text has been filled with a single color that means that the entire text has a single luminance value and in this layer slider we still haven't reached that value to make it transparent. So once we reach that value the entire text will disappear. So let me just increase the highlight slider more towards left. So as you can see once you reach that luminance value the entire text has been disappeared but if you want a smoother transition then all you can do is press alt or options on Mac and then click on the slider and the slider will be popped up into two. After that you can drag the right portion of the slider more towards right and you can see there will be a smoother transition. Also you can drag the left part of the slider more towards left. So that's it for this layer. Now let me just go back to normal. So in the process we learned that the entire text contains a single luminance value. So this layer portion of the blend if won't be much useful for us. But as you can see in the wall image there are different luminance values as in some portions of the wall is darker and some portions of the wall is brighter. So now in order to mask the current image based on the luminance value of its underlying layers we have to use this underlying section of this blend if. So if we move the left slider more towards right it will mask out the current text layer where the wall image is much darker. So as you can see the gaps between the bricks are much darker and it has started to mask out the text on that portion. So if we increase it more further more text will be masked. 
but for a smoother transition always break the slider into two and then drag it so as you can see it is having such a nice smooth transition so now this much looks proper you can do the same thing for the highlights as well so as you can see it is looking a bit harsh so let's smoothen it out by breaking the sliders into two and then drag the light slider more towards right so now that is looking perfect after that click on ok after that you can reduce the opacity of the layer accordingly i am reducing it by 80 percent so as you can see the text is now looking like as if it was painted on this wall so yeah that's it guys that's the final image hope you guys like this short and simple video now if you guys like this video then give us a thumbs up it helps the youtube algorithm in spreading the video also you can share it to the ones who might be interested in such videos and subscribe to the channel for more videos in photoshop thanks for watching bye bye